I had 20 years experience in gas turbines and propulsion in industry, um, part of it overseas in Sweden and Norway. When I wanted to join academia, Cranfield was the most obvious place because it had such a strong link with industry. We expected to do world-class work, but we also wanted to enjoy it and we persuaded a number of NASA directors to come and visit Cranfield and always to come and stand by our little engine which was unique because we'd run it and put a hand on it and we took a photograph and then from that we went to the stage of saying the existing NASA director should bring with him the person who may become the NASA director so there would be an informal tradition that somebody would have touched the Whittle engine before becoming the NASA director. It was a great, great pleasure to see some five NASA directors visit us over many years. My time at Cranfield was both fulfilling and joyous. Fulfilling in the sense of the contribution which the young colleagues, particularly the masters and doctoral students, the contributions they made to a worldwide community in propulsion, joyous for all the friendships which we made uh, within the university but also the propulsion community worldwide. One way of summarizing this is to say two of my sons actually did master's degrees at Cranfield, happily not in propulsion, and my wife, uh, Dr. Val Singh, made an international name for herself in the School of Management. So we became quite a Cranfield family in that way. When Cranfield started, the uh, intention was that it would be at the crossroads of uh, knowledge and the application of that knowledge in industry. and that has continued to be its ethos in my field in propulsion in aerospace there are very very big changes that are going to come in the coming decades mainly because of the environmental impact and Cranfield has a unique role to play in that because of the work we've done up to now to bring together the needs of the green community and the uh, um, airline industry um, and as I mentioned, the work with NASA has given us an international profile in that. And that's another two, three decades of work. But given the size of the activity, the large number of masters and doctoral students, there's a likelihood that Cranfield will become a major player in that field. Uh, and become ever more important than it is now.